All right, let's fight this boss. Let's do it. You beheld an immense man slouched beside a mucky pond. He appeared to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fish corpse. Nasty. Some chunks were thrown back to the pond, where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up, and some were sloppily pushed into the hulking man's mouth. I like it. You bring fresh fish. Easy choose. I do indeed bring fresh fish, sir. Child 13. Uh, the Kingfisher. Okay, let's see here. What should I do? I have this fucking nasty ass card right there. You know what's funny about this? He's merging together two of the same cards, so isn't that just the same as one of the cards? You know what I mean? It's a little bit weird. But I guess it doesn't get increased damage. I guess I want to play this. Right? But he's gonna steal it, isn't he? This fucker's gonna steal it. Hmm. So maybe that's not the best idea. Also, is it just me or is the music a little bit loud? I'm gonna turn it down just a bit more. I'm gonna go... Maybe like that. Okay. Let's try this. Uh, hmm. Child 13. If I... So if I play squirrel, he's gonna be like fresh fish and try and grab this. But if I replace it with this, is he still gonna grab it? I don't know if he only grabs uh, things that I play and not things that I sacrifice and then play. I don't want to risk it. Maybe I'll just take the hit for now. I'm testing. Okay. So he's coming in with another Kingfisher. So now I want to take one of these now. And now we can do the test. So, Squirrel. Put that here. Sure, why not? This guy's got to come in. That's okay. Uh, now I want to play Child 13. Okay, so he wanted to grab that. But now I put this here. Okay, then he grabs it. Good that I discovered that. So now I want to play Squirrel here. He's going to try and grab that. Uh, this is a bit... Uh, maybe, yeah, he can have that, I guess. Right now. That's fine with me. I could also sacrifice... So hold on, let me under try and understand this bell right here. What could it possibly mean? Right now it's at minus one. It's related to the bell somehow, which is related to the balance here, of course. Uh, I really don't know. I really don't know. I think I'm just gonna let him grab that squirrel, because it's kind of useless anyway. Okay. He takes it. They turn. Dude, I'm already almost dead here already. This is kind of a disaster. I don't know. How much how many lives do I have? I can't see my lives. Fuck. I think I have one. Oh man, am I already dead here? Fuck. This game is difficult, man. Like, are you serious? Wait, why is he not uh, grabbing it? He's not hooking it for some reason. Ah, well, whatever. I'm gonna play this now. Let me try and understand. So this is the bell. I think it's gonna do... I don't know. I... Fuck, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Two damage. Why is it two? Where does that come from? I don't understand. I don't get it. I guess it will be revealed to me later, right? Because in the book, uh, the description is sort of uh, not shown. So maybe that will be revealed later. But yeah, for now I can only guess why that is the way it is. 
But I will be doing damage now, that's nice. I'll be getting back into this. Okay, do it. Uh-huh. Nice. One, two, three, four. Hey, hey, wait a minute here. Child 13 has got has gained damage. What? Hold on, I need to sneeze. Alright, I'm back. The allergies are hitting me hard right now. This is uh, not pleasant at all. I'll try and survive. If I randomly mute, it's because I have to sneeze or something. Okay. I mean, it's looking good, I think. I just keep doing damage. One, two, three, four. He's gonna die now, actually. Plus overkill. Maybe I can even get some extra damage in. Let's see. Do I get something? Man, this one is, is crazy. Unfortunately, I can't play it, but that's... Okay, whatever. There we go. Okay. And... Now, he pretty much ha he says go fish. Oh, okay. So I'm going to be hitting that and that now. And with that. Actually, this will attack first, I think. Which will... Uh, Trigger this, it will become a shark. And then this will attack here and here. Right, that's the order. It's kind of an important uh, thing to realize, I think. Okay, so now I want to take one of these. Let's squirrel here. And then we can play the uh, pack rat now. Oh, but wait a minute, let's make our things flying. There we go, everything's flying. I guess child 13 was already flying. Why was it flying though? It evolved and became something else. And gained the flying status. It has wings, obviously. Huh. And then Pack Rat. Oh! Oh! So when you sacrifice. Okay! Interesting. Isn't that interesting? Also, it seems like this is not gaining the flying or the airborne. It's only with the cards that are on the board when you play the fan. Okay. All right, then. See ya. Let me relight your candles. Thank you. Perhaps one of these will entice you? Maybe. Amoeba. Don't I already have one of those? Or was that the last time? I think that was the last time. I'm so sad I couldn't combine these two. I mean, it makes sense that I couldn't, I guess. They're not the same. Amalgam. And the strange larva. Hmm. Let's see here. What would make the most sense? Do I get many bones at all? Not really, right? So maybe not the amoeba. Amalgam is kind of good. It's like in a. It's like a superior wolf, isn't it? And it has. Uh, or it's part of all the tribes, because it's an amalgam. But then again, the strange larva is also kind of cool. Let me go for the strange larva. It's strange. By the way, so it's really interesting to me that the child 13 had like a hidden uh, ability there. I didn't quite uh, pay attention to what exactly happened. I think after I sacrificed it, it turned into the flying version. And then when I sacrificed it again, it reverted back to the normal version. And maybe it just flip-flops between those two states whenever you use it as a, as a uh, sacrifice. The angler's foul smell slowly faded as you continued on. Beautiful. Mm. Oh, yes, I know. 
Sheets of icy snow battered your body as you fought your way up to a vantage point. The snow-covered trees jutted from the landscape like prickly misplaced teeth. Nice. You continued on through the snow line. Once again, I'm at the snow line. Once again. Where do I want to go? Uh, how many teeth do I have? Not that many. But I have an opportunity to get some here. I guess. There's a mycologist there. Oh, that would be actually kind of cool to do. I like the mycologist. Yeah, let's go this way. Oh, did I do that? What is that? Cart counter? The value represents something? Cart. You know what? Maybe this does the amount of damage equal to the cards that I'm holding. You know, it would suggest that. How many cards are in my hand right now? I think that's what that means. The pronghorn. The sadistic pronghorn. Woe be to those that meet the end of its antlers. <laughs> yeah, those are the antlers. And a raven. Hmm. I mean, I kind of want to try this. And maybe I can get rid of a card that I actually don't like at all. And I kind of forgot what happens when I... Oh, actually, look at this. This statue right here, or this uh, skull, is the skull that's on the wall that I can click on and its eyes go red. Can I revert back from this right now? No, I can't go there now. Let's see here. Uh, I don't know what to... Maybe I will take one of these since I have two of them. Honestly, this one I kind of want to get rid of. Because I don't really understand it anyway right now. And it costs two sacrifices. Whereas this is only one sacrifice. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. And, oh yeah, and then we're going to get the... Um, we're going to get an extra bone every time we start a round, right? Hold on. Maybe I don't want to do that. Then. Do I even want the Ouroboros? Maybe it... Um, I don't know. Pick something else. <laughs> Alas. Um... I don't know. So, by the way, notice how the Child 13 card is a little bit more orangey than the rest. Maybe that's what suggests that it has a special effect there. A hidden ability. I don't know why this would be orangey, or maybe that's just because it's been merged. See, the Ouroboros is also orangey. Maybe that one has a special ability as well. Well, uh, for now, let's just... Honestly, let's get rid of the bullfrog. Not that great, is it? Thank you. Yeah. So, let me actually try something now. Now that I... Oh! There's mushrooms here. Pop, 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 pop. Cockroach and squirrel. I have to remember that. Let's try and play that. But this is a 1-1 one, one cockroach. I wonder if that will matter. Because right now I only have a merged version. Mm, okay. Turn on. Ooh. Now the eyes are on. I wonder if that will give me an extra bone at the start. If that's what that means. Ah, oh, this pot. Honestly, hold on. Did I solve all the other ones? Yeah, yeah. I definitely did. This is the only one remaining. 
Hold on. <sighs> I feel like I should try and solve this now no matter what. Otherwise, I'm, I'm gonna lose my mind. So, okay, let's do this completely from the beginning again. These two cannot move, right? So there's nothing to be done about that. So one, two, three. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. We need to do five damage, right? That's my understanding of this. The only way for that to happen, I think, is if we play this somehow. Because the rest are just not, it's not enough, right? This is one damage, two damage, absorbed, three damage, absorbed, no matter what, because this one will move over here. So this is in in most three damage. But there's also this uh, quill. It has to play a role somehow. Right? If this one attacks that, this one will do... Damage back to this. One damage. Right? That's how I understand that. And then this will be gone. Okay, but wait a minute. Does this do attacks left and right first before it is gone? Or does it do left first? And then the quill activates, kills this card, and it will never do the right? How do I know? How can I test this? Uh, okay, let, so one damage here. Uh, one damage there. That's two damage. And then we have one more damage there. Which uh, will trigger the tail. And this will move to the right. Okay. Okay. And then this will do zero damage there, because it's blocked, but it will also kill this card. Oh, no, wait. L let's do this. Let's test it like this. So if I do one attack there, then... Oh, here's how we can test this. What does this do? What? <laughs> wait, that was totally accidental. Fuck! Uh, I have to understand this. Wait a minute. And I thought I had all the totem heads together. My thanks. The woodcarver will offer this now. What is this? Oh, it's a squirrel. Oh, thanks. Why does this work? It's still in the... Okay, it's still in the correct position. Hold on a minute. Why does this work? I'm not satisfied. I'm, I'm not happy I got this. Wait a minute. This attacks that. This attacks that. So that's zero damage. Zero damage. This activates, leaves the tail behind, goes to the right. So right now it's zero damage. This one, one damage. This should be one. Unless it attacks, the quill activates, kills this card before it attacks to the right. Right? So it never does the attack to the right. So we're still at zero damage. Then this comes in. Does one damage. Two damage because this has not been activated. Plus three! That has to be how that works then. Right? So, okay, let me confirm. It attacks here. Quill kills this. Before it attacks to the right. So this one is not getting uh, tailed. One damage, two damage, five damage. Oh my god. I would never have figured that out. This was... Honestly, how was I supposed to know that it attacks first? Or that it uh, attacks left first and then gets destroyed and then to the right? Fuck. Okay. Maybe I could have figured that out. I don't know. I'll never know, I guess. Oh well. I did it. And there's mushrooms everywhere now. I'm just happy I got that. <laughs> I'm not quite satisfied with how I got it, though. But that's okay. 
It's better than never getting it, I guess. Alright. Let's get back to it. Uh, here. Okay, so we only get one bone. So, uh, clicking on the skull on the wall actually did not really do anything, it seems. So this one has the tail icon now. This is the turkey vulture, kind of a scary one. And we have a mole. <laughs> the mole! Uh, definitely want to play Child 13, because it's insanely useful. Let's see here. This will just go anywhere I'm trying to attack where there's an empty place. This one will go down here, do an uh, airborne attack, and then move to the... No, it will just do an airborne attack. It's only if I attack it or strike it, right? Yeah. If I strike this, tail gets cut off and it moves to the right. Gotcha. Okay. So for now... I guess I will... put a child 13... here. Because why not, right? There's no reason not to do that right now. He's gonna attack me, and that's something I can't really prevent. Actually. Can I? Oh, the cock Oh, I don't have enough bones. Fuck. Okay, that's okay. Whatever. Next round. I'm gonna be taking some damage. It's okay. Although it hurts. That really hurts. He has the raven egg here, because he suspects that this will move if I tag an empty place. I want to kill this now. Can I? Give me a card that requires one sacrifice. Come on. Yes. Okay, that's something. I can block. And it's even gonna block air. So maybe it's a good idea I didn't get rid of the bullfrog. Not bad. Not bad at all. But hold on, I also have a squirrel in a bottle. I could technically summon this. Ooh, hold on. I could summon... Yeah, 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 yeah. If I squirrel... Summon this thing, put it here. It will attack there. And there, but it's not guaranteed that it will kill this. Oh, this is the... Shit. Ah. Uh. Man. Maybe it's better to play the bullfrog and be safe. I mean, worst case, it's gonna attack here as well. Do three damage. No, it's not, because the mole is gonna move over here and block it, right? So I will actually die if I do that. This all relies on whether or not this will have three damage or not. And it is at minus three right now, so maybe it will. I, I don't know. I, you know what? I could grab his card. I do have two candles lit right now, so I am... I am able to take a hit, I guess. If need be. But you know what? No, 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 no. Let, let's, let, let's play this safe. Bullfrog. Oh yeah, and this becomes awesome now. So let me see if I understand this. The bullfrog will attack this guy first. And then this one will try to attack here, but Mole is gonna rush over there and defend. So my question is, if I were to play a squirrel now, and then... So if I were to play a squirrel, and then sacrifice child 13, and this, or I mean, uh, and the squirrel, play this right here, Oh, but then I turn Child 13 into a non-flying creature again, right? So, yeah, the mole is gonna be... Blo oh, man, this is complicated. You know what? Let's experiment. Let's just do it. So, there. There. Here. So let me see if I can predict what's gonna... Oh, it has three damage. Oh, that's amazing! That's all I needed. Perfect. Why does it have three? Because we're at minus three? 
But it's like inconsistent then. It's no, it, it's something I'm missing here. Anyway, so this is gonna do one attack here. This is two HP now. Then this guy will attack here and there. And then Mole would rush over here to absorb the hit. After that, I was about to say if this had damage, it would also attack. And the question is, will the mole in the same turn also move over here and block the remaining? Or is it only moving once? Let's see. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. I think it's gonna just jump around everywhere, like just like the mole man. I have three bones, cannot play the cockroach yet. This should be good. I should be getting... I should be getting rid of this at least. So I will not take damage now. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Good. That makes sense. That makes sense. Give me... Oh, this one is not gonna die now. Oh, that's bad. But I will kill this and then uh, deal three damage to him. That's nice. I definitely want to sacrifice this one so I can make it have damage. Oh, that's perfect. The stoat! Just in time. Stoat in a TV. Turn it into a flying creature? Go here. <laughs> Keep me alive. So here's the thing. Bullfrog, one damage. Three damage. That's four damage. This one will then attack this one. Uh, no, actually, hold on. Bullfrog will try to attack here. Mole moves over here, absorbs the hit. And then I'm gonna do six damage. Plus two. Plus two! Holy shit! Right? I'm not wrong here. This is gonna be crazy overkill. Oh! Oh, mama! Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I'm finally starting to understand the mechanics here in greater detail. This is so satisfying. Wow. Ah, it's time for the ritual or whatever. The trials. Trial of health. Three drawn cards, at least six. Okay, that's kind of a lot. Five bones. And four attack power. I think this is the most likely one for me, isn't it? Let's see here. Then I, no, actually, I don't have a lot of attack, do I? Uh, I kind of do. I need four attack, though, so I need an average of two on each. I don't know about that one, man. Is it even going to try and draw these for that? Can we just ignore those? And this one? Can that be ignored? Five bones? I don't think that's the one I want to take. Hell no. The health. That means at least an, an average of two health. I mean... That could work. But it needs to be two on three cards. Like minimum, right? Oh, I'm torn between the attack or... I think I'm gonna go with the attack. Yeah. Let's see. Let the trial of power begin. Oh no. <laughs> hey! There we go. Zero from Larva. Two from the Cockroach. Two from the Stoat. Success. Dude, I cannot fail these trials. I'm too good at the game. <laughs> A great white! Awesome. Requires a lot of sacrifice, though, and I do not have a goat, do I? That one's gonna be hard to play. And the moose bug is also hard to play. But this one will give me... You know what? I want this. Hell yeah. I'm taking the Kingfisher. Especially because I have Chow 13. It's gonna be easy to play when I if I have the Chow 13, of course. Okay, uh, mycologist. Do I have duplicates? I think I do. D do you have the... They are not victims. What? Oh, um, oh. Your cards are all distinct. No pairs. Ah, fuck. Okay, so I get to have a card. A pack rat. 
a cockroach, or a king. You know what? I could try and combine kingfishers. Right? Because I already have these. What I mean is, I already combined these two, so kingfisher it is. I guess for the next mycologist encounter. Alright, let's do some more overkill here. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh, here we go. I get to try this. So if I if my theory is correct, I will either do three or four damage right now. Either three, because when I play this, there's only three cards in my hand, or four, because there's four in total, including this. I don't know if it includes this or not. But if I play the squirrel first, uh, then it's going to be three or two. Let's see here. Mole is coming in. The turkey vulture. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll wait a bit until I have more cards in my hand. Um, yeah. Maybe this will dynamically change throughout the game. Maybe this is not when you play it, this is just how many you have in your hands right now. Like, at any given time, while this is in play. Let's, let's just, let's just experiment with that. So I, I think this is gonna be two damage after this is played. Hey, there it is. It's the amount of cards I have in my hand. Beautiful. This does flying attack, so this will not suffer. Okay. Dum dum dum. He has a raven incoming as well. But this guy is going to stay here until he dies, I guess, so... Now, what I really want is... Child 13. But... <sighs> this... There's a lot of cards in this deck. Chances of getting that are slim. But I, I gotta... Okay, here we go. This thing. Well, shit. I could pull one of his cards, I guess. This is not blocking uh, airborne attacks. Let's not pull a card just yet. We're not in grave danger just, just yet, are we? Oh wait, we're gonna kill- we're gonna be killing this now. That's nice, but then mine will die after that. Yeah, because we have three cards in the hand. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh! Oh, you fucker! No! I forgot about the goddamn loose tail. Completely forgot about that. Pity. Shit! Oh well. It happens. Time for another trial. Trial of wisdom. Trial of blood. And... Trial of health. Well, blood should be... Maybe a... No, actually. I do have a shit ton of sigils. It's totally a sigil. Let the trial of wisdom begin. Come on. Yeah. Beautiful. That's enough. Now I get to choose a card. The alpha. The sparrow. It is unkillable. And the coyote. Which does that. I think the alpha is pretty cool. So is the sparrow. Right, let's take the alpha. We need more bones. Okay, time to combine. I have two cards that I can combine. We need duplicates. One for each of us. You shall get one for each of you. I have kingfishers to offer. So what happens here? Is this gonna be still on there? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'm gonna look away. I don't wanna see this. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. The operation, is it complete? It is! Pretty shoddy work, I have to say. It's it's not very beautiful what you've done there. Okay. Do I want my revenge here? 
It's not looking too good right now, guys. I have one HP left, and the big boss is coming up. And it doesn't look like there's anywhere I can spend my teeth before we get there, so... That ain't good. It ain't good. Maybe I want to get items before I engage. So maybe this way, that way, here, there. Let's not die here. Oh, the stinky one. Okay. Lucky draw. Yeah, you are a good one. Chow 13, perfect. That's what I need. The moose buck? Dude, this guy's tanky as fuck. Okay. Uh, the stoat can absorb that, I guess. But I guess I have- I gotta play this right now. No matter what, right? And I wanna put it... Here. And then we can stoat. I mean, stoat, you're gonna die, but that's- that- it is what it is. There we go. We're gonna deal four damage now. That's a good start. Okay. Yeah, stoat's gone. It is what it is. I could play the pack rat and actually... I was, I was about to say kill the moose bug, but I can't. Oh, this is... Oh, but the moose bug only deals three damage. So it will not actually kill the... That's amazing. And I get a... I get an item. Let's do it. Oh, but then child 13 is gonna not attack. Oof. Oh, but wait a minute. I think I know what to do here to survive. I only have one choice, really. Oh, wait a minute. That's... No, 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 no. The mule man is gonna... Or the mole man is gonna block my shit. I have to... Hold on, does he block air? Oh, he does. Fuck. Oh, that's bad. I need to steal him, I think. <sighs> it's not optimal, but I think I gotta do it. Shit. Otherwise, I'll die here. If I use Pack Rat, get rid of this and that, play it here or something. Well, he's gonna absorb all the bullshit. And Chow 13 is not gonna be uh, have damage anyway anymore, so... Although I do have a large buffer. No, let's not risk it. Nope, I'm taking... I'm, t I'm taking... I guess the Mole Man. Thank you. That way I can actually attack. And let's do overkill here. There we go. Oh, I should have sacrificed the mole man, I guess. Ah, whatever. Here we go. It's will suffice. Okay. Right now it's all about staying alive. Staying alive. Staying alive. Oliver! What? Is this here still? What the fuck? Yo! And a grizzly? Mac... Dude. I'm taking... Yeah. Give me Oliver. I need it. And we also need items. Uh-oh. Oh no. You can't use that. Uh... Why not? I want that. Give me that. <laughs> Wait, what is that? What is that? Uh, hold on, before we do anything here, before the boss, let's just quickly... Click on all the buttons. Hit this one... Ah, forgot about that, but... Nothing we can do there. This door is still locked. Will I ever get a key for that? Dude, I'm so happy I actually ended up getting the item that was in there. No teeth there. Okay. Well, well, well. 
All right, Mr. Man. Let's fucking do this. We don't... I don't know what this item on the right is. But let's, let's see. The trapper sat hunched beside one of his traps, slowly cranking it open. He gingerly removed a mangled hair from the steel teeth, but let the trap unhinged. Left the trap unhinged. Okay. You shouldn't have come here. I know I shouldn't, but yet here I am. <sighs> Third time's the charm, right? Or is, it the, or is it the fourth? I don't even remember how many times I've tried this guy. Fuck, I don't have my one essential item. Ah, uh, no. Fuck. I need that essential item. What is this? Failure. To the user. Nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. Uh... What? <laughs> Fuck, what does that mean? I... <laughs> Shit! Failure? What does that mean? Do I want that? I don't... I don't know. Uh... Let's play a strange larva and start absorbing some hits. Because why not, right? Let's play that on the left, I guess. Why not? Let's put it here. See what happens when it grows up. Alright. Maybe I should play the boulder immediately. Yeah, you know what? We're on our last fucking life here. We gotta... We gotta do some shit, you know what I mean? Just start absorbing some damage. Let's go. Here he comes. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, wait. Strange poopa. It has not evolved yet. Oh, shit. Uh. Uh. Shit, I'm so torn. Which one to pick? I think we gotta go with this. And then play a bullfrog. Right here. It will absorb two hits. That's nice. At least. Hold on. So how does this work again? When I win the first round... He starts to... No, wait. When I kill these, I get a pelt, right? What happens when I win the first round here? He starts to put uh, grizzlies and shit down, right? It becomes uh, all hell. So what we need before then is to get as many pelts as possible, right? So we can do the exchange that he offered last time. So we need to get rid of these leaping traps. Yeah, we gotta. Or maybe I start by getting rid of the strange frog, so it will be turning into a leaping trap, and then I can absorb the damage initially, at least, you know? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Go. Yes. Ah, here we go. Whoa. Seven damage, dude. This is kind of bad, because I don't want to... I'm not ready for that yet. No! This is a mistake! This is a mistake! No, I'm gonna be tree- No, wait, this is blocking air. Never mind. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. The Mothman is ripped, though. That's kind of a waste now. But that's okay. I guess I want... Oh, man. Give me... This. I believe. Alas, we meet again. Stunted wolf. Look at the situation. Uh, I could sacrifice... No. This is gonna kill that. This is gonna kill that. They're gonna be turned into leaping traps. And then I want to trigger as many traps as possible. That is the idea here. This only requires one sacrifice, though. 
No, let's wait with that. We still have some HP to play with. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Trap. Trap. Okay. That boulder is doing work, by the way. Very nice. Okay, I don't wanna... Ah, the stunted wolf. I wanna... Uh, yeah, get, I guess I get one of these. Let's put that... There. And then... Wait a minute. Oh, this is also blocking air, right. That's good, that's good. I want the stunted wolf here. Get rid of this trap. Yeah. Give me a pelt. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm sure. We also have four bones now, so hopefully we can get a nice card that can we can use those bones with. Okay, Mothman gone. Bullfrog will also be gone. Yep. And this will be gone, and I get pelts all over. Beautiful. Adder comes in. Tips the scales. It's getting a little dangerous. Um. Come on, bones. Give me bones. No, wait. Let me play safe. How, no, I can't play. This is just going to delay the inevitable. Pick this. Yes! I'll use that. When I can. <laughs> I cannot sacrifice, no. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, we can take one more damage. Man, what does this do? I, I feel like I shouldn't use it because it says failure on it. That doesn't make me happy. Okay. Hold on, how much? I have two HP left. I can absorb one. Oh no, he's gonna do. Oh, he's gonna do two damage next turn. I'm fucked. Wait, I can use a wolf pelt. It's something. It's something. Uh. So if we do squirrel. I don't even know. Here. And then. We do a Kingfisher. Here. That's dead now. And I block the attack after. No, wait. I, I, it's, it's just dead. It's dead. And then he's gonna come in with two damage now, so I need to block one of them immediately. Let's block... This one, I guess. Why not? But it will kill it immediately, because it's a touch of death. So I'm at 1 HP after this. I could also block both attacks. Play it ultra safe. Yeah. Man, this is... I feel like I'm about to lose again. I mean, I gotta play the pelts because... Better make it to the next round than not make it to the next round at all, right? So let's say I do not play this pelt. I will take one piece of damage after this. This one will come in, do one damage. Then I can... Uh, then I can... Uh. Then I will have two damage here that will always do more damage than he does. Unless he plays more cards. I think I'm okay. Otherwise I can always play more pelts later. Let's go. Okay. Oh no, wait, no, no. It gets turned into a trap. Of course. No, I forgot about that part. But I have an option to deal four damage right now, which I really need. Yeah, I gotta do that. I gotta do that. Give me this. Uh... I could make my shit flying as well, actually. That would be nice. That will deal uh, six damage. No, wait. No, no. This is going to get destroyed now anyway. 
pack rat. Oh, fuck me. Put it here. Just to offset the damage right now. And I get an extra item. What the fuck is that item? Please! No! No! So he's gonna do two damage, I'm gonna do four, so all in all, I'm gonna be gaining HP here. This is a good trade. Dum 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 dum. Oh, wolf coming in. Does three damage, that's okay, this one has four. Nice. Okay. A little better now, a little better. Here. Okay. Alright. I kinda hoped for one with bones. But I'm still gonna be doing uh, more damage than he's gonna do to me, so we can still... We're still chilling. At least for a bit. Yeah, we're back to neutral now. Now I can play one of these to... Oof. Or... Oh, man. Actually, the wolf is gonna die now. Yeah, the wolf is gonna die. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. I just keep going. I take two damage now, but I can afford it. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, good. Man, this is this is tense. Holy shit. We're at minus two. He still only threatens two damage right now. Give me a squirrel. And let's make a... Squirrel... Here. And play a child 13. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Play the child... No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's think here. Do I want that or this? This is... Okay, as far as I understand, this is gonna do one damage, right? Because it's reflecting this here. So this will kill the adder. Maybe that's a better start here. No, actually, child 13 is better because I can always switch between them, right? But the thing is, whenever I sacrifice on child 13, it's gonna deal damage suddenly and then it will kill itself in the leaping trap. Unless I play it somewhere else, but that, no. Oh no, when I sacrifice this... It also gets more HP, right? So it can survive a hit. No, it can't, because touch of death. Oh my god. This is... Messy. You know what I want to do, though? I just want to end turn right now. I'm still gonna be in the... Plus here. Yeah. That's the smart move. Exactly. And I can just technically keep doing that, but hey. Okay. I want definitely want the pelt from this. Um, let's wait with this. I kind of want to save this for the next phase. If it does what I think it does, right? That would be pretty sick. But for now, let's just keep doing this. May as well grab as many cards as I can during this phase here. I can even sacrifice this now to not kill him yet. Oh my god, this is getting a little crazy. Oliver! Three damage. One, two, three. That will actually kill. That's not good, but... Let's do... That. And get rid of one of these adders. Okay. That's the start, at least. And then I can child 13. Or, wait a minute, hold on. Squirrel here. I should sacrifice this, I think. But it's actually so good, I don't know if I should keep it. I want to get rid of the leaping trap first. So... What I can do... Is squirrel... Child 13 here, and then uh, use a reflect. Squirrel. Oh, wait, this. Uh... Shit. 
The child 13 will die then. That's not what I want. I th oh man, I think I have to maybe just leave this trap here for now. Yeah. Or I can sacrifice the pack rat and put the child 13 here. See, that would be pretty good, I think. That way, I will not die yet. Or he will not die yet. So let me do this. Seems a little crazy, but it's what it is. And then I use this. Hold on, how much damage will I do now in total? I will kill the adder. This will not do anything. I will take one damage. That's perfect. Let's equalize a little bit more. Yeah, let's end. Okay. Now I want to keep grabbing cards. Ouroboros. I'm not going to kill him with three damage. So that's nice. I can technically go for one more here. Or I can sacrifice these two and... Did I pull a card yet already? I did, right? Hmm. Could also do this. Put it here. Get rid of the adder while we're at it. I don't want to turn this into damage yet because I don't want to kill him just yet. One damage. Wait, why is that? Oh yeah, because... Okay, okay, so it does what I think it does. Good. Good, good, good. So three damage to him. He's not dead yet. And I get to spring this trap maybe next turn. Let's see. There we go. Let's see now. I have to pick one of these. The adder. Ah, fuck. Oh, well. Two sacrifices. I could do that. And that. Nah, I'm not gonna get that one. It seems... That's okay. Fuck it, let's just go. Okay, let's see what happens now. Ah, it is the end of my turn. Let's trade. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, I get an extra pelt. That's cool. I hope you brought pelts. I did as many as I could. As many as I could. I probably could have gotten all three pelts there, but it is what it is. Let's see now. What do I want? We have to remember, the things I remove, he cannot use either, so this dangerous stuff needs to go. I feel like the Bloodhound is so incredibly hard to predict what it's gonna do, because I still don't understand it, that I just want to take it for myself. And it has insta-kill, that's not bad. I'm taking that. Uh, because these creatures are prepared to rip your throat out. Oh, did I miss the last message? Trade for what you can, but know this. The rest will stay and fight for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as far as I understand, I can get three, right? One, two, three. So I can, ch I can take the Bloodhound. I can take... Um... take the grizzly and the great white i guess oh but these these also have three sacrifices which i i don't have a goat so these are almost impossible for me to play but if i take all the ones with the insta kill on it ah this is a hard decision i kind of want the river snapper absorb some damage and reduce the damage of the foe as well Wait, this one will, will become even crazier? Okay, I'm scared of that now. Take this. Take this. And I'm not scared of this one right now. This can stay. For all I care. This one, though, I'm a little scared of because it will turn. This one is whatever. Let's take that. Hmm, very well. Okay, hopefully I made the right choice here. Okay, man. This is... Oh, all right. This is doing nothing right now. I should have thought about that. I actually did not think about the cards I had here. God damn it. But I can play this. Right here, which will... Oof, that's scary, though. Because that will maybe die. 
But I could play... Ooh, I can't play this, though. I can sacrifice this, that, and a squirrel that I can take. To put it here. That would be a nice absorb for this. Wouldn't it? And it's gonna get crazy later. Oh, wait. I'm thinking about... Oh, wait. This has... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's what I want to do. Oh, wait. This one... Give me a squirrel. Give me a squirrel. Why, why are all my cards with the bones on them? Look how many bones I have here. There's a whole pile of them. Fuck. Uh, okay, squirrel. It hurts to do this. Ah, maybe... No, no, I don't want to sacrifice... Oh, shit. Actually, it's okay. No, oh, wait, it's gonna kill my child. No, it's not, because I'm gonna upgrade it now. Yeah. Moose buck. Upgraded. Removed. Removed. No, it doesn't get more HP. I thought it would get one more HP, so this is dying to this now. Fuck. But, wait a minute. This will attack that. This... Will attack here. And then it will try to push this one, but it can't. Right? So it will go left instead. So it will push everything to the left. Child 13 gets to be pushed over here. And Moosebuck is here now to absorb River Snapper, which is, I guess, nice because I get to keep Child 13. But then I won't be able to absorb the Grizzly that's coming in. Now that's scary. So I'm taking four damage. Oh, God. But then again, I'm dealing three damage now. And I'm getting rid of this. But then this guy comes in. But this guy's gonna get upgraded, so I'm, I'm excited to see what happens there. Very excited. Man, I need cards with bones. Badly. Let's see if I'm right about this. Hold on, I could also make my shit flying. Wouldn't that kill him right now? Hold on. One? This is already flying. Oh yeah, right, so this doesn't damage River Snapper. This just goes straight for him. Plus three, that's four. Flying here. That's seven. I gotta do that. No chances. Take no chances. Fly! My cards! Go! Yes! Take no chances, man. Need a light? I do. Oh, thank you very much. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Oh my god, I, I finally made it through this one. Rejoice! Amoeba. Gek. And the pack rat. I am intrigued by the Gek. I'm, I, I really am. There's gotta be a hidden thing about this one, right? Like, come on. What's the deal with the Gek? Let's take the gag. I believe. Okay, what next? Find out in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.